welcome back to It's a Vase Productions, where today we're doing another comedy reaction video based on your comments, your suggestions, which have been pretty great recently. Uh, but I still gotta ask, if you're enjoying it, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, please subscribe. Look, look at the statistic. That's, it's just... I, mean, I love doing this. I love that people are watching. But come on, if you if you if, if you're watching, let's make that ratio a little bit better. Uh, wait, do you hear that? The British are coming. The British are coming. Now, Scott's Grays. Now. <laughs> Those men on grey horses are terrifying. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So ever since I started doing uh, the comedy reactions to Billy Connolly and Frankie Boyle, there has been a surge of activity uh, from our friends across the pond, as it were, especially the Scottish. I mean, those are both Scottish comedians, so that's a little bit, you know, understandable. But I love the comments I've been getting. It's like they just charged it and, you know, here we are, waving the Scottish flag emojis everywhere. Uh, was Michael Jordan's cookbook said, very good, all British people are looking. Um, check out Best of Frankie Boyle, absolutely. Uh, Michael Jackson's Children Hospital, that's what I'm about to watch right now, Scottish flag. Uh, need to watch more of him, Mock of the Week, yep, yep, I'm definitely planning on checking that out. Props from Scotland, Scottish flag. So, yeah, I mean, Hey, you're watching. I'm going to keep putting it out. Those are the requests. I do still have other uh, American comedians and other comedians to look at, so don't get me wrong. I'm still going to be doing all that, but I'm going to keep the, the Scottish train going here with another of Frankie Boyle's. It's been requested a couple times now, and that's uh, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson's Children's Hospital. And having heard him in the audience reaction and getting an idea of what he's like just insulting people, I can only imagine this is going to be brutal. You enjoy the trial of Michael Jackson's doctor? We were talking during the trial about exhuming Jackson's body to do tests on it. See if they'd done it, I was going to watch it on the news with the volume turned down and Thriller on the stereo. <laughs> do you hear the tape? They played a tape of Jackson's voice under sedation. Show how many drugs this guy was giving him. And he's going, I'm going to build a children's hospital. <laughs> the biggest children's hospital in the world. <laughs> Call it Michael Jackson's children's hospital. I don't even think it was his voice. <laughs> I think it was the voice of the paedophile demon that controlled his soul. <laughs> I'm gonna build a children's hospital. <laughs> I'm gonna buy those kids a game of whack-a-mole. <laughs> but I'm gonna lie under the game of whack-a-mole. <laughs> Stick my cock up through it. <laughs> so when they're banging away with the little hammers, they're actually banging my cock. <laughs> Michael Jackson's children's hospital. <laughs> the biggest children's hospital in the world. I'm gonna I'm gonna dress up as a surgeon. I'm gonna do operations on him. Put little cocks and little clitorises into the palms of the hands. So that when I'm holding hands with them, I'm actually abusing the little motherfuckers. Michael Jackson's children's hospital. The biggest children's hospital in the world. I'm gonna tell them they've been cured. I'm gonna tell them they're okay and send them home to their mama. But it won't be the mama. It'll be me. <laughs> Dressed up as the mama in some Mrs. Doubtfire kind of makeup. <laughs> and they'll wake up on their first night home to hear me screaming, you're not okay! You're not okay! <laughs> Through my mama's face as I come inside them. <laughs> Michael Jackson's Children's Hospital. <laughs> Biggest Children's Hospital. <laughs> 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 I was like, I guess we 
Yeah, you're sorry you booed the Shannon Matthews joke now, motherfuckers. <laughs> so, yeah, that was pretty brutal and probably largely accurate. I mean, you still had all these people. I mean, this was years ago. They're talking about the death. I mean, he died. You know, this was a while ago. And so yeah, they're talking about the trial of his doctor. Like, that's not even to mention, like, all the other stuff about him that people were like, no, he wasn't actually like that. Those were just jokes that South Park made or jokes that this. It's like, why do you think they're making those jokes? I think it's random. I think that came out of nowhere. I think that was just, you know who'd be a good target? Michael Jackson. For no reason. No. <laughs> Things were happening. Very obviously. And they recently had that Netflix documentary come out, right? I think it was Netflix. I don't know. I didn't watch it. I heard it was horrifying, and I heard all these different things, and all this different stuff. It's like, I couldn't believe it. I had to watch it to believe it. And I was sitting there going, well, I didn't watch it. And they're like, well, I'm telling you, you got to believe me. And I was like, no, no, no. No, no, no. Hold on. I didn't watch it because I already believed that this was happening. And personally, I don't want an in-depth, microscopic view of exactly what was going on. I really don't need that in my life. Just like those kids probably didn't need whatever's happened to them in their life. So I'm just gonna... Yes, shit was going down. I don't know why I know what you know, okay? You don't want to believe it of the pop stars? That was another thing. Like, R. Kelly recently got convicted of something. And there's a comedian that I'm friends with on uh, Facebook. And he had posted something about it. He made a joke about it. And someone in the comments went... It's too soon. It's too soon for that. He was just convicted. I was like, bitch, <laughs> are you serious? Too soon? There's already Boondocks. The show, The Boondocks, you ever see? I'll put a clip in if I can. He's trading in their gold chains for gold showers. Hip hop singer R. Kelly is on trial again this week for sharing some of his liquid bling with yet another underage girl. Oh, I seen that girl. She ain't little. I'm little. Yes. Gary Cole is little. Yes. Mini Me is little. Very. And to the best of my knowledge, we all managed to avoid getting peed on so far. Are you there, urban youth? Why do you think R. Kelly is innocent? If I started peeing on you right now, would you A, smile and ask for more, or B, move the hell out the way? What the hell is wrong with you people? Every famous nigga that gets arrested is not Nelson Mandela? Yes, the government conspires to put a lot of innocent black men in jail on fallacious charges. But R. Kelly is not one of those men. We all know the nigga can sing. What happened to standards? What happened to bare minimums? You a fan of R. Kelly? You want to help R. Kelly? Then get some counseling for R. Kelly. Introduce him to some older women. Hide his camcorder. But don't pretend like the man is a hero. They made that episode. It's, it's, it's the trial of R. Kelly, in which he gets off. Huh. Get, you know, and Dave Chappelle, years ago, on Chappelle's show. How long ago that was to the whole R. Kelly thing. Close your eyes, show me your face. I'm gonna piss on it. <laughs> don't even go. None of the above, I want to piss on you. This has been in the public eye for a very long time. I was just kind of surprised he actually got convicted. I heard it was happening again. Did I watch every second of it? No, I didn't watch any of it. Actually, when someone told me it happened, I was like, wow, good, sweet. But like, I, why didn't it happen the first time? Like, why didn't people are so starstruck? I think also because you only used to get people in small doses, especially stars, like that's what tabloids were. That's your chance to, ooh, see how the stars live. Now there's like so much information blasting video everywhere that you can learn much more about, you know, these people. It's much harder to get away with stuff like that. I mean, you have the whole Me Too movement and that entire thing, uh, blowing it up. And so it's a different, it is, it is a different time, but it's interesting, it's so interesting to see how that people would just, not believe these things about these famous people and there was it was very clearly happening uh i don't know back to the comedy hey so frankie boyle great suggestion wow that was a bit of a rant uh great suggestion i want to thank you everyone who has been subscribing i know i keep begging for the subscriptions but you know i, I have seen an increase and i appreciate it thank you to all the the english the British, uh, the Scots, <laughs> thank you all very much, and I appreciate your support, 
and keep the subscriptions coming again because eventually I want to be able to do giveaways. I want to give things away. But for that to happen, I need more views and more subscriptions. And then I can I want to do at least a monthly giveaway and not just of like my merchandise or my crap. I mean, like I want to give away the entire disc set of George Carlin or like this entire comedic, you know, that sort of thing. Or maybe like tickets to a comedy show. I don't really know because I'm kind of far away from the point where I can do that, but I'd like to get there and you can help me and then maybe you can win some free stuff. So make sure it happens. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me more recommendations because I'm loving them. All right. That's what made us all happen anyway. So definitely keep those coming and uh, I'll see you next time.